Hey everybody, welcome back, Mike from Spectre Comics. Been a while since I've done a tutorial video, but today I wanted to show you how I set up my drawing tablet with my computer in order to capture the screen while I'm drawing in order to do videos like speed draw videos or tutorial videos, how to draw, how to use Photoshop, stuff like that. Um, I'm actually in the middle of a drawing video right now. I'm drawing the Corpse Bride, which was supposed to be out on Halloween, but I'm a few days late for that. But in the meantime, while I'm making that video, I thought it'd be good to capture how to the how-to process of how to set it up to capture your screen footage. So first thing I'll do is I'll talk about my desktop setup, how I set up my tablet, it's connected to my computer, and then uh, how I use everything else, how I set up my microphone, what software I use, we'll talk about that in a minute, and how the whole thing works together to create these videos. And, and if you stick around to the end, I'll show you how I edit my videos in order to create a speed draw video. So first let's talk about how I set up my desk while I'm drawing. I've got my laptop open in front of me with the program that I use to capture the footage running in front of me so I can see it. And then in front of that I've got my drawing tablet set up and it's connected to my laptop. Now the drawing tablet I use is a Wacom Cintiq 13 HD drawing tablet. I use Photoshop Elements 2022 as my drawing program. And while I'm drawing here, I'm just simply recording what I'm doing. Now if I'm doing a speed draw video, I'm just capturing footage while I'm drawing for the whole process. And you know, I usually break it up into smaller clips that I save, and we'll go over that in a minute. Um, but if I'm doing a tutorial video, I'm actually talking into the microphone while I'm drawing, and I have I sometimes have the camera set up right in front of me so I can talk to the camera, and then I just switch back and forth between the shot. So let's talk about the software I use to capture the footage on my tablet while I'm drawing. I use a program called OBS Studio. It's pretty much a free download. Go to obsproject.com backslash download. You can use it for a Windows or a Mac. You basically just download the installer here and go ahead and install it right to your desktop. There's no malware or viruses that come with it. It's pretty much open source, free to use again, and uh, it's a great program. It's got a lot of features. Now, uh, there are a ton of videos online, a ton of videos on YouTube showing you how to use all the ins and outs of OBS Studio, and I just use it for a very narrow screen cap kind of, uh, the kind of functions for that. So. I'm not going to go into all the details for all the settings, but I will show you how I set it up to capture my screen, and we'll just go through the process right now. So when you open OBS Studio, I'll bring the OBS Studio down into the screen cap area. Uh, this is what it looks like. So you're going to want to change some settings in here, and you're going to want to set up some things like your scenes and your uh, video source. So You'll notice here I've got a couple of scenes set up and then you've got a source. The source is basically which monitor you are going to record and the scene is going to be what that uh, what that scene looks like. In other words, if you want to crop something out, uh, let's say you don't want to see all of the Windows icons on the bottom of your dashboard there. So if you want to add a scene, you just click the plus sign. Uh, you can give the scene a name. You hit OK and it'll add a scene to your scene list. And now you want to select a source for that scene. So you hit the plus here. Uh, for your computer screen grab, you're going to want to hit display capture. And now I have two monitors, my tablet and my laptop screen. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK for a create new. And now it shows you what it's going to be capturing. Now I can select my other monitor, which is the monitor here. So the first scene you saw was my computer monitor. The second scene is my tablet monitor. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then if you X out of that, now you've got that set up. So we're gonna save that. So now I've got scene two and display capture two. And now you'll notice in the scene, there are these grips that you can use to push or pull the, 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 what, what's actually gonna be captured. So I can make it smaller or I can make it bigger to crop out the bottom uh, windows bar. Now, because I've already got my scene set up, I'm just gonna delete these. So the next thing we're going to want to do is change some settings in order to capture the footage and save the footage and set up your audio. So I'm going to just show you some basics of what I use. So if you click the settings button, it'll bring up this dialog and this settings box. And there's a ton of things here. Again, I would encourage you to go watch some videos on how to set up for the best footage. But the things I want to show you is how to save your footage and where to save it how to set up your audio and how to set up your video settings. So first thing we'll go to um, video. And because I'm actually recording my screen right now, I can't change any of this stuff. But basically you wanna do uh, 1080p high resolution uh, footage, aspect ratio 16 by nine. So you would click this area to change that if it wasn't set up properly and your output uh, resolution also 1080p. So we're gonna click off that. The next thing you wanna do 
is set up your audio. Um, again, a lot of settings here, slider bar down here. Um, but basically what I want to show you is how to set up your microphone. If you're using a USB microphone like the one I'm using here, you can go ahead and select that from your mic audio um, device. Once your microphone is plugged into your computer, it should show up in this list and you can easily select it from uh, the list. I'm using the Hyper, HyperX Quadcast microphone. So that's audio. So the final thing you want to worry about is your output. Where is your file going to be saved once you are recording? So if I click the output button, click recording, again, I can't manipulate any settings here because I'm currently recording this screen. But basically right here, it says recording path. If you have a folder you want to save your files into, go ahead and hit browse. You can copy and paste the, the path into that. And then once you're done, you can just save everything. It's not showing everything here, but click OK, and that's it. Now, once I go ahead and want to record my screen, all I'm going to do is hit this button right here. Right now it's recording, so if I was to hit this, it would stop recording what I'm doing right now. But if you're capturing footage, you hit just start recording and stop recording right there. So we'll get this off the screen, and we'll start looking at the actual corpse by drawing that is the drawing that I'm in the middle of doing right now. So you can see now, if I am recording this, uh, the footage captured here is anything I'm drawing. So if I was to draw anything on the screen, uh, it would show up and it would capture that footage. Okay, so let's take some of the footage I captured while doing my corpse bride drawing. We'll slide it into my video editor and I'll show you how I manipulate it in order to do a speed draw video. The program I use is Adobe Premiere Elements 2022. It's a pared down version of Premiere Pro, but it's a very easy program to use and I actually like it a lot better because it suits my needs. Um, so first thing we're going to do is grab a clip and slide it into our project assets tray, which is up here. It's just a drag and drop. I'm going to go ahead and slide that video clip into the timeline and you'll notice that the video is about 30 minutes long. So the first thing I want to do is, knowing that I'm going to be doing a voiceover, I want to delete the audio from this track. So I'm going to just right click on the video and delete audio and it'll just leave the video track there. Now let's show in real time the speed of the video. So if I hit play, it'll start playing the captured footage and you will notice, I'll get to a further area in the track where I'm actually drawing. You'll notice that now you can see some actual drawing. This is real time. Again, this is a 30 minute clip. If I was to take the entire video captured and I do it in small segments so the clips aren't too big. Uh, if I took the entire sequence that I captured, it would be a couple hours worth of footage. I definitely don't want to have a couple hour long video. So what I'm going to be doing is speeding up the video. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and stop the video from playing. And then I'm going to right click on the, on the clip again. I'm going to go to clip with this little menu and go to time stretch. Now it brings up this dialog box, which shows you at 100% speed, in other words, in real time, uh, the video is 30 minutes long. If I change the percent here, let's say I go to 800%, the video shrinks down to a couple of minutes here. I can extend the timeline by this lever here. But now when I, when you, when I hit play, you will notice it goes much faster. And this is basically what I want to do with all my clips. I decide how long I want the video to be and I shorten the clips. I speed up the clips using that time stretch uh, function in order to speed the video up. And you'll notice it's drawing much faster now. And now when I do my voiceover, I will basically create the video clip of the entire uh, drawing process. And then I will go ahead and do a voiceover later once the video is complete. So that is how you edit for a speed draw. Now, if I was doing just a simple screen capture and doing a voiceover because I'm doing a tutorial, if I'm showing somebody how to draw something or if I'm showing how to use Photoshop or something like that, I'm just simply going to be capturing my screen and capturing the audio with my microphone. I'm going to talk into it while I'm doing it. So I'll, you know, I'll be grabbing my pen. I'll be working on my screen. Um, sometimes I have the camera on filming me. Sometimes I talk directly to the camera. But I'm always capturing the audio, and the audio will override the audio that my camera captures because with the camera being a few, you know, two feet away from me, the audio is not going to be as good as the USB mic. So 
I always override the audio on the camera with the audio uh, with the microphone captured by OS, OBS Studio. So that is pretty much it on how to create a speed draw video capturing footage from your computer while you're drawing. Again, have your computer set up. Uh, if you have a drawing tablet, set it up to capture the footage. Use OBS Studio, a free download. Um, capture the footage, save the footage, put the video footage into your editing program and then create the video. Speed the footage up in order to create a speed draw. Those are pretty much the simple steps of doing this. If you have all of the items that you need, I do have links to the items in my description below if you need anything that uh, I've talked about today. If you already have a tablet, it's perfect. You just download the free software, capture the footage. That is it. I thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, put those in the description below. Um, like the video, subscribe to my channel. We will see you next time. Have a great day.